Looks like you were uh, paying attention earlier in the earlier in the course. I saw a lot of um, good techniques, a lot of effort, a lot of details. Um, again, just to review, just like most of the things in jujitsu and any sport, you, you, you ha it's all about the details, right? So you, if you do if you do the details and you do the entry, the rest of the move or the submission is going to work for you. But if you you start out sloppy, then it's going to be a lot of work. You need a lot of space. Um, it's going to be a challenge. So, um, and, and this it's interesting because I see like half the class um, there are blue, belt, blue belts in the class, and I think that's a really good thing. I don't know why you're. I don't know if it's a scheduling thing, but one thing that I've d learned now that I'm a brown belt and I go to a fundamentals class is that it's all about the details, right? When you think about the best teams in the world, you think of the San Antonio Spurs, right? If you look, you take any one of those those players, they they would almost not start at some teams, right? They would come off come in off the bench. But one of the things they do so well is the fundamentals, fundamental basketball, move the ball around the court, right? Same thing with soccer. If you can move the ball around quickly, it's all based on fundamentals. And I think everything, I, I think it, the whole thing begins and ends with the fundamentals class, and it's all about the details. And I think once you have that foundation, then everything comes. Real easy, right? Whether that you're you're a, a white belt, you will progress in a very satisfactory way because you'll get better and better. And then those of you know know that you're in the blue belt ranks and you just rejoined us, right? In earnest in the last few months, it's the little things, right? It's a little. I've been an athlete my whole life, so I think I had a, a strong foundation of what it takes to be good at something physically. But I think the the challenge is 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 really. Um, Keeping it fun, I think that's what it was. You get, you, I think sometimes you get so caught up in I've got to win, right? Or I got to nail this move, or I got to win the next tournament. Um, and I think earlier in my career, and that's because of the heritage that I started out with. I didn't start with Gracie Baja. I started with more, more of a fight club, and I just had this mentality, you know, real early that you know. Being good at jiu-jitsu was tapping everybody out. And, um, you know, it was high speed. Not that I was ever mean to anybody, but I, I think that my whole game was is very different now than it was when I first started. And I think that was kind of my, my biggest thing was, was I come here, it's a great outlet. I mean, you, you guys are my friends. Um, I, you know, I don't, I don't, don't have technically have friends outside of this. I just go to work, I have, hang out with my family, and this is my extended family, and so I come here and I had a lot of fun, but a lot of it was taking a step back and looking at it uh, kind of holistically. Like, what did I really want out of jujitsu and, and beating everybody up or being world champion it just wasn't a priority for me. Yeah. So that was like my, my journey, right? It doesn't mean being uh, a champion is bad. It's just that you just gotta know what it is that you want out of it, and then you just tailor it to you, and you'll have a lot of fun, and you'll do it forever. I've been doing it for over 10 years. Love every minute. Making that.